So this property has this bump out behind me on the second story, which complicates what would otherwise have been a pretty simple rectangular perimeter measurement. In this case, I have this handy deck to stand on so I can easily ascertain the depth of the bump out with the simple distance measurement function. So there's six feet. I could also stand here to get the width, but what if I didn't have this deck to stand on? What if, as in a lot of cases, this dormer was just hanging out in space and I needed to shoot it from the ground? That's where measure in a picture comes in. Okay, so back down on the ground, we're gonna use measure in a picture to determine the width of this bump out on the second story behind me. So I'm gonna select measure in a picture and what measure in a picture needs is for you to be in the center, 90 degrees perpendicular to the center of whatever it is that you're trying to measure. Now in this case, I got some great visual cues. I got this light that's uh, above a doorway in the middle of the wall, and I got the peak of the roof above it. So I got plenty of uh, visual reference to line myself up in the center of the property, center of what I'm trying to measure, I should say. So now I'm going to take my shot in measure in a picture mode. I'm gonna line it up right above that light And now I've captured my distance to the wall and my angle to it. And in measuring picture, I can adjust the tabs to the corners of the wall, either by simply in the D810, just by touching and sliding them. And if I need to get a little more fine tune, I can use the buttons on the bottom. There you go, 12 feet. 